once I was released on bond and my case was overturned, my attorneys was like, no interviews, no nothing. And that's exactly what I did. I just didn't do anything for the full year. Um, I pretty much worked on my case with my attorneys. The best thing to do was not to give the state any more ammunition to use in court, per, you know, had I gone, gone to trial. When I was on pretrial, once my case was resolved in terms of me taking the plea, um, I still had two years of um, house arrest. And at that point, the state attorney that prosecuted me was still in the office. Now, what most people don't know is that my then now ex-husband had tried like at least once or twice to get me violated while I was on probation. <laughs> had nothing to do with anything I said. I mean, you understand I'm on an electronic monitor. Um, I'm you know, having to put adhere to a schedule. I have to go and pay fees. I think by the time the fees were done, everything was close to about 10 grand for two years of ankle monitor. So imagine the people who can't afford it that they put them on it and end up violating. Um, and so I didn't want the, um, to be in a position where anything that I, I did would violate me and I you know, essentially let myself down and I honestly wasn't really worried about myself as much I was worried about everybody else that fought for me and my children. So I walked a really fine line, um, but I used that time to, um, to come back and be, a lot. I just used that time to be strategic in terms of writing my book, starting my nonprofit, doing a whole lot of research. I used that time so that, you know, they would wish that that's the last thing you should have did is put me on house arrest for two years because I wanted to make sure that I could come out and hit the ground running.